Hello everyone and welcome to Bug Access. So in this video we will discuss uh, two P1 vulnerabilities which are found in Cisco ASA panel. So before we start discussing vulnerability you might be thinking what is Cisco ASA. So here is the definition I have provided let's read it. So Cisco ASA device is a very popular and is often a part of infrastructure for many bigger and lesser companies as a VPN or firewall. We, of, uh, we also often encounter them during penetration tests. Okay, so basically Cisco ASA provides VPN uh, service to many uh, companies. Okay, so if we find uh, this during our penetration testing, okay, if we find the Cisco ASA, so what all vulnerabilities you should test on this, we will discuss today in this tutorial. Okay. So the the industry leading AnyConnect secure mobile client is a modular endpoint software product. It not only provides VPN access through secure sockets layer and IPsec uh, KVE V2, uh, but also offers enhanced security through various built-in modules. These modules provide services such as compliance through the VPN with ASA or through wired wireless and VPN with Cisco Identity Service Engine. Web security alongside uh, Cisco Cloud Web Security Network visibility into endpoint flows with Stealth Watch or uh, off network roaming protection with Cisco Umbrella. Any connect clients are available across a broad set of platforms including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, Windows phone mobile blackberry and chrome os so basically this is all regarding cisco asa that uh, we need to know to perform these vulnerabilities okay so now you know that what is cisco asa but uh, for the first step the first step of the both vulnerabilities is to find the cisco asa panel so how should we find that panel so comes to the next step how to find cisco asa panel okay so basically to find cisco asa panel we should look for, for all these endpoints which are customization mainly uh, plus csc oe plus and uh, plus csc ot plus this uh, these are the main uh, endpoints we should look in the cisco okay so now uh, example of how the cisco sa panel uh, url will look like is here uh, https subdomain dot target dot com slash the endpoint one of that point here okay so now the process of finding now we know that in a target there might be many many subdomains so how should we find the uh, cisco sa panel okay so just add this these all endpoints in the word uh, in your word list which uh, we use during directory brute force okay and if there is any it will show 200 okay and just test it so this is all about finding cisco sa panel so here i have provided the example how uh, cisco sa panel looks like here is the url uh, subdomain dot target dot com slash csc oe plus uh, plus csc oe plus slash logon html uh, form title text okay so this basically how our cisco uh, asa panels looks like as you know earlier this provides ssl vpn service as we discussed earlier okay so let's move on to the vulnerability so the first vulnerability we are going to discuss is cve 2020-3452 also known as arbitrary read uh, arbitrary file read vulnerability or uh, local file inclusion many uh, also path traversal many many names for this vulnerability but i prefer to call it arbitrary file read vulnerability okay so this is the description I have provided from the CV doc, uh, docs. Okay, so what uh, let, let's read it. Uh, vulnerability in the web services interface of uh, Cisco Adaptive uh, Service Appliance ASA software and Cisco Firepower Threat Defense FTD software could allow an unauthenticated remote attacker to conduct directory traversal attacks and read sensitive files on a targeted system. So basically this is, uh, this is the impact of, of this vulnerability. If so, if somebody is able to read the server file, it will have many sensitive configurations and uh, data. Okay. So which will be uh, which will cause so much loss to the program. Okay, so that is why this is considered as a P1 vulnerability. Okay, 
so the vulnerability is due to the lack of proper input validation of urls in http requests processed by an uh, by an affected device an attacker could exploit this vulnerability by sending a crafted http uh, request containing direct traversal character sequence to an affected device a uh, successful exploit could allow the attacker to view arbitrary files within the web services uh, file system on the targeted device the web services file system is enabled when the affected device is configured with either web vpn or any connect features this vulnerability ca uh, cannot be used to obtain access to asa or ftd system files or underlying operating system files okay so this is all about the uh, descri cv descriptions uh, in the cv docs okay now after reading this you must be thinking that this must be hard to get right but uh, let me tell you there are two methods and both methods are very easy uh, and uh, yes the manual method is more uh, easy you just have to follow two to three steps and uh, if it is vulnerable you will get the result so first let's see the manual method so what is the manual method uh, just we have to find the cisco sa login panel and add this in the end point okay so if it is vulnerable we will uh, download the file that we have requested so in the url here we will be uh, adding our file name like there are many file uh, names of the file the main that we are going to talk about is portal underscore ink dot lua file okay so let me just show you what uh, what we need to do is just add this endpoint okay so here as you can see here is my cisco sa panel and yes uh, currently we don't have disclosure so i will not be showing you the direct vulnerability but yes all the procedure and methods you need to follow will be covered okay so what we will do is just uh, erase this and add this as our endpoint so what is this saying that in the file name yes so what all files you will be getting in the server so this is this is the file list that uh, that is uh, available on the cisco asa server okay and all these uh, files you can try to read here is the whole payload i have created but the main important right now is portal ink dot lua so i will just copy it and in the place of file name i will paste it okay so what will happen if this is vulnerable if i uh, enter this currently okay let's see okay so this is not vulnerable uh, because of which it showed me bad request but if it was vulnerable it will uh, give you a download link and uh, the whole portal link dot lua will, uh, file will be downloaded and you can easily view it with notepad or uh, any other uh, app you prefer okay so all uh, so all the codes you can view easily so that is that is all about the manual method so next is automation method so uh, automation method in uh, you can enumerate the uh, subdomains of your target and list them in a file by using this call command we can just easily test each and every listed subdomain for this vulnerability okay so if any subdomain is vulnerable uh, the name of the file which we have given will be printed so the best place i will tell you for uh, uh, getting the subdomains the in the list is chaos.projectdiscovery.com okay so this url chaos.projectdiscovery.io sorry so here all the uh, name public programs of bug crowd hacker one etc are given okay now we can even uh, see where where are the new domains all the new programs uh, specifically for hacker one specifically for bug crowd and if you want uh, to install just uh, click here and it will install this acons folder okay so this is pretty easy uh, try it you will get whole list of subdomain yes so as you know that this command will take too much time so i have already loaded this command uh, earlier for uh, cisco.com okay so all the list i have installed from the uh, chaos.projectdiscovery.io as you can see in the downloads cisco.com.txt ecrm melor meriaki network auth all this uh, we have got all of this subdomain so for let's see for cisco.com i have used this command and as you can see 
I have got many HTTP requests, but uh, all of these are vague HTTP requests. None of the them contains the portal ink dot Lua file as I specified earlier. So this is not that much efficient this method so if you ask me which method which sh uh, we should prefer uh, prefer automatic method or uh, manual method i will tell manual method i always perform with manual method uh, okay so but if you have too much too many targets you can try this automated method uh, none of these are portaling dot lua file okay so yes so those who don't know how the f the file looks like uh, for them everything will be vulnerable so it is better if you follow the manual method okay so yes here is the file uh, list for which all the files names of the files that we can look in into this vulnerability okay uh, if you want you can just dm us on our instagram handler at the red bug access and we will provide you this payload okay so now continuing to the next vulnerability CVE 2020-3187 which is arbitrary file delete vulnerability okay so here again I have added the description from the CVE docs okay so let's read it a vulnerability in a web services interface of a Cisco adaptive service uh, uh, security appliance software and Cisco firepower threat defense software could allow an unauthenticated remote attacker to conduct direct traversal attacks and obtain uh, read and delete access okay so basically the difference between this is uh, here we are reading the file and here we are deleting it a file okay so if a read Reading a file can be considered P1. Obviously, deleting that server file will be considered P1. If this vulnerability is there, it can cripple the whole company for which they are using it. Okay, uh, so this very severe vulnerability. We, uh, if you find it, just report it. You will hit a huge bounty for these vulnerabilities. So this is all the uh, description this is all about uh, that we can delete files etc so now there again are two methods uh, which we can do again uh, to perform this you just after finding the cisco sa panel it is very easy to perform this uh, vulnerability okay to find it is vulnerable or not only three or four steps and uh, you can test it for it so just open i will show you so method one is just opening the image file uh, which is cisco logo.gif okay i will just show you so as you can see here uh, this is my cisco sa panel i will just view image oh, sorry copy image location and enter it so as you can see it is a cs plus cscou plus cisco underscore logo underscore gif so this is also one of the file that we can read well this is not read but this is an end point okay so after erasing this we need to select an endpoint for a file so basically you can try session passwords.html but since this is not runnable you will not get it so we'll just do blank.html if if there is as you can see i have got a blank page due to blank.html what we will do is just intercept this request send it to repeater now uh, we can delete all these cookies and add the cookie token as i specified earlier this is the cookie header that we, we will add what this specifies is a uh, token uh, is our endpoint this one so if this is one working and go okay so normally it will show us 200 okay but if it is working we will get uh, yes where we yes this will be if you refresh it you will get file not found but since it is not vulnerable i can still see this gif so basically this is the method you need to perform and second is a simple uh, call command yes so second is a simple uh, call command call hyphen h for adding this cookie header and uh, this cookie okay uh, and in subdomain uh, this here they have a session underscore password dot html you can also uh, use blank dot html any server file that you have got and if the image is deleted then it is vulnerable so these are the two methods you can try any of them uh, okay 
so this is how if there is a vulnerability it will look like so before deleting it will show the cisco image as you can see csco underscore logo dot gif and after deleting it will show file not found hence we have successfully deleted the file okay so this is all about uh, today so today we discussed two p1 vulnerabilities if you find it you will hit a very huge bounty okay so basically this vulnerabilities lies in cisco asa panel hunt it and tell us how you find this video in the comment section any doubts you have you can dm us on our instagram handler or even let us know in the comments thank you have a good day